Okay. Hi, Jessica. Hi. How are you doing? I'm good. So, um, what thrills you about acting? Um, on the surface level, the ability to live like a million lives. Okay. Uh, being able to be other another person other than myself, sort of like an escape for me. So I, I, I'm, I'm a naturally curious person. I like to want to think of what other people are thinking of and how they arrive at whatever it is they are thinking of. So acting just gives me that opportunity to live an entirely different life, be an entirely different person with a different thought process, with, um, with a different life entirely. Do you like? So that, that's what thrills me about acting. Okay, what what do you appreciate about acting? Um, the psychology of it. Okay. I think it helps me understand life better. Like, I can come out of certain characters and things I would probably judge. I begin to see them differently because I've literally lived in someone else's shoes. You know, so I I, I appreciate it for it helping me have a more open mind towards life and even sometimes understanding life better what's what's the what's the most thrilling role you've, <laughs> you've ever <laughs> you've ever I've played done. yes uh, a character you 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 know you embodied and it thrilled you ah okay so i've had a couple okay the one that gave you that in that sense of you experiencing someone else someone else and experiencing you know life or you know through that person's eyes I, uh, I would say lauren <laughs> lauren um is a character or a person in um the audition james johnson's the audition i don't know i i feel like i'll keep talking about that character for years because it, it did a number on me <laughs> so uh what do you want me to talk about her yeah, yeah. What what is it about her that thrilled you? Okay. Um. Well, I I don't know if thrill is the word exactly, but I'll de I'll say that it's that one character that left like a huge footprint in my life, okay. or heart, or memory. Um. It's you know she. An exciting thing about mm, what thrilled me about the character is the fact that it was the first time I'd consciously gone through mind games you know how you meet certain people and you don't know they are playing you mm. and you don't know that they are literally you, it, it seems like you're doing the thing in your own on your own accord mm. like the decision you're taking in your mind you're like no i'm making this decision with my full consciousness with myself but meanwhile the person orchestrated it like from the very get-go mm. and their end game was for you to arrive at where you arrived at mm. and you think that you arrived there on your own mm. that was something about that character that, like it was the mind work for mm. me it was it was really intense interesting what what i mean you played other characters yeah you know but what is it about what challenges you in a character or what you know what challenges you in a character is every character the same do you approach it the same way no no i, I think what challenges me is on familiarity Okay. Because every character seems different for me. Because mm. I see them as different people, mm. so I definitely. So you approach them this, the same way or different ways? Different ways. Different ways. Yes, I. So what is your ritual them. like? What's your process <laughs> like? Um, for me is first reading through the script, of course, to okay. know who the character is. Then I. Sorry, I thought I was. <laughs> not be sure. Yeah. All right. Okay, so reading through the script to know who the character is, then. Most times I try to look for people around me mm. or even if like if there's nobody around me that I feel like shows who that character is, I then start to watch movies. Sometimes I even like go out and actively watch people. Mm. And sometimes it's very scary because I've had people <laughs> on, on some occasion be like, Why are you looking at me? <laughs> yeah. Because it freaks them out. Because I'm just quiet in that corner and just staring at you and you know, reading through I'm hearing what you're saying. Mm. I mean, you might not be talking to me, but I'm hearing what you're saying. But mm. I'm also figuring out, like, are you lying? What, what are you, is there something that gives you off? Yeah, as, yeah. yeah. So, 
I try to look for like physical representation of my characters in real life because mm. then I can like pick out you know the way they move the way they talk the way they would respond you know if, if they are high pitched if their voice are, is deep uh, I remember playing one character where my sister was a model for that character I mean I've never been an elder sister before so the character was like the eldest of three children mm. had to so it was my sister that was literally my source for that character so mm. i know that her voice is a bit deeper when she's angry there's how she behaves when she's sad when she's happy you know so i, I picked elements from then and i also picked elements from my mom because she's the eldest um she's the oldest girl of her siblings mm. so certain characters from and traits from her to kind of help to build that character so physical representation really i like to interest which performance have you seen like in nollywood you know that a thrill do i'm using the word a lot mm. thrill because there's thrill. A, a certain thrill in acting yeah. you know about characters no matter how simple they might appear mm. you know that is very it's very you know it gives it gives you a certain kind of feeling of interest mm. You know, when you, when you get the character and you, you are interested in that subject, that like you begin to, you're not forcing yourself to study. Yeah. You're not forcing yourself to, you know, to, to do certain things that will force you to get into character. Mm. You're just interested in that, in that character. Yeah. And then somehow it just plays itself out naturally without you even trying, you know. So which, which that's why I'm using the word thrill a lot. So which, which um, Nigerian um, <coughs> actor have you seen that... Three would you that you felt, man? This this performance is heavy. Might be unconventional because I'm a lady, so mm. you would think that my choice would be that of a lady. But mm. I would say Black Rose, Jide Kenna in Black Rose. Okay. I don't know what is it about that character. Like, it was. I actively went to look for him after because mm. I wanted to figure out that is this how this person is in real life? Mm. What is like? What did they? How did they arrive at this character? It was. What did you call the film? Black Rose. Black Rose. Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah, it was, it was, it was one of the rawest I've seen a male character play. Hmm. He was very, very thorough. Then I saw, actually saw him in um, Living in Bondage first before I saw Black Rose. Hmm. Now the difference in those characters, like totally different people, hmm. made it more interesting. And but I liked the character especially in Black Rose, Black Rose because. It was a bit more authentic like it was authentic raw it was basically like the boy across the street mm. that you would meet mm. but that had a crush on somebody mm. and how they would naturally behave it was very it felt very familiar okay yeah so i, I would say that was a very authentic performance nice nice okay what advice would you give <laughs> your fellow actors <laughs> Who I be? Yeah. <laughs> Who uh, I? I mean, you I just never know. know. There's somebody. I, I think it doesn't even matter. You know, it could be an advice that you use for yourself that works. You okay. know, something that works. Um. 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 Don't be afraid to go deep. Okay. I know sometimes, like the environment like the acting environment in Nigeria kind of makes you want to stay shallow because it's mm. almost like there's no there's no appreciation for you going deep because everybody else is probably doing the barest minimum and getting away with it mm. so I would say don't be afraid to, to go deep whatever no matter how small the role is no matter how big it is like explore all know that you've given all to that character and like I know you can't you can't give all because there are sometimes you look back on certain rules and you're like, ooh, I understand what mm. this person is now. But like in that space of where you are at the moment and what you know, you should give all, like everything, no matter how stressful it is behind the scenes and stuff. Okay. Thank yeah. you, Jessica. Thank you. <laughs>